Hey YouTube and uh, welcome to another video with myself Microbox of X and uh, yeah another video uh, as I said I was going to get more done and I was going to be more frequent on my videos I haven't done as many this week as I wanted to but I'm still doing more I mean there was like weeks and weeks going in between each video so it's all changed I want to change all that um, before I go any further as well I want to give a quick shout out to the guys on the Dragon X podcast, make sure you go and check them out, Eroc8150 and the Welsh Gamer. And also the guys uh, from uh, the team on the Micropod as well, the Shermanator, Andy Mackay, and uh, of course Del Poy. So give them a big shout out as well. There will be another Micropod tomorrow evening at 8pm GMT. Um, so make sure you come and join us for that. I'm sure it's going to be a really good crack. So uh, on with today's video. And uh, you know I want to discuss the Xbox and, and I think that the fact that you know the tide has changed for the Xbox now. Where it seems to be on the app. It seems to be becoming more popular again. Um, the work from Phil Spencer and the team at the Xbox headquarters have done an amazing job over the last few years. And um, now with the imminent, you know, imminent delivery uh, and, and appearance of the Xbox One X, things are changing, and we're seeing it. Uh, I mean, this has been going on for some time before the X. I mean, we've seen cross-play, um, the uh, Game Pass. Um, Xbox Live has continually improved at the current price and at the price it's always been, uh, certainly for the UK anyway, it's never gone over £40, it's always been £39.99 for the year and that's been since the Xbox Live uh, feature launched, it's never gone up, it's never increased um, and as I say you've got a cross play and uh, the Game Pass, EA Access, there's so many features and so many functions that are continually coming to the Xbox um, you know the Microsoft team and the Xbox team really are there for the gamers you know they give us the choices they give us the options they don't turn around and say it's not good value for the for the gamers they give us that choice you know they give us the freedom to make our own decisions and they don't take that you know advantage away from us that choice away from us which is something that Sony seems to enjoy doing with the PlayStation brand um, unless they're physically making money out of it themselves, they're not interested. EA Access was, uh, you know, a straightaway, no, not interested. Um, they just didn't want to know. They don't want to know crossplay unless it's something that they can physically make money out of. They probably do crossplay if everybody else turned around and said, oh, well, you can charge extra for the service. Um, and as we all know as well, the PlayStation Network charge went up £10 a year uh, to 50 quid only recently. Um, all these things are playing into the hands of Microsoft and the Xbox uh, brand. Um, a good, uh, a good thing about this, and I mean, Xbox has been on the back foot since the launch, and we all know why. I mean, uh, there was a little, slightest little bit of performance difference between the Xbox One and the PlayStation Four. Um, the Sony, Sony marketing team basically took advantage of this and pushed power constantly. And you know, throughout the whole time, you go on to all the networks and all the, the groups, forums, Twitter, everywhere, and it was just power, power, power. Power is the main thing, and that was all the PlayStation gamers went on about: was power, power, power. Games were never mentioned. Games were hardly ever mentioned at all. Um, but you know, with the announcement of the Xbox One X, uh, the 40% power advantage, we're seeing it on Digital Foundry now. We're seeing all the proof of the pudding. You know, we can see the performance differences on these games. Uh, we can see where the power is being utilized um, and now all of a sudden it's games games is the priority games is where we need to focus you know games 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 it's very funny how all of these things seem to change into um, to, to suit Sony to suit the you know the PlayStation gamers um, but unfortunately um, you know the, the, the real gamers out there not the ponies but the real gamers are seeing that the Xbox brand is changing and it's appealing to them and more and more Xboxes are selling um, I know of at least five people in the last two weeks that have switched from being hardcore PlayStation gamers to Xbox One gamers and uh, you know I'm sure you won't mind me being uh, using them as an example my brother's the same um, for years we've been having this argument and this discussion um, about you know which is the better system um, he had a PlayStation 4, he had a PlayStation 4 Pro which he bought for the VR, he bought the VR and I'd go around there and he'd pull it on and he'd say yeah this is really good look at this and, and you know I can't deny for a short term experience it was good fun and I could see why it appealed to him but he's sold both the VR and the PlayStation 4 Pro and he's pre-ordered an Xbox One X 
because he, like me, likes a hardcore console experience but without all the aggro of PC gaming. So he will go where the power is and the power is on the Xbox One and the, you know, the Xbox One X. Um, I mean, if it wasn't for the power, the reason I went for the Xbox One was nothing to do with power. When it really, really gave a shit about them, nobody was interested. Um, all we were interested in was the games. And the reason I picked the 360, and like every other person that picked the 360, you picked it because you had a good controller and you had a sturdy uh, online service. The multiplayer online service, Xbox Live, is second to none. Nothing can compare to it. Um, and that's why I chose the Xbox 360 and I stayed with the Xbox for the same reason you know I stayed with the Xbox one for the same reason it wasn't because of the power it was because of the uh, online multiplayer you know it is such a robust strong and secure service and why would I need to go anywhere else when I know it works so well uh, it doesn't have downtime it doesn't have maintenance every couple of weeks or couple of months whenever PlayStation Network has its maintenance but it doesn't go down for that time it doesn't need to um, and that's why I picked the Xbox as my gaming platform of choice. Now the fact that because of Sony and the real hardcore Sony fanboys made this generation all about power, um, I can't thank those guys enough because they've made Microsoft turn around and the Xbox team and produced the Xbox One X. So we are now getting um, the equivalent to a sort of mid-range PC in a console form. Um, and I've seen the difference, I've played the difference, I've used the console, I've played Forza 7 on the Xbox One X. Um, and I've played Assassin's Creed on the Xbox One X and believe me it is absolutely incredible so what can I say all I can say is thank you to Sony for you know making Xbox better than it was because you guys have really helped Xbox and the Microsoft team to push the Xbox to the next level and give us an even greater console and um, unfortunately it shot you on the foot a little bit um, because the gamers that are there that went to the uh, PlayStation 4 on the premise that it had slightly more power um, and now coming back to the Xbox brand as I say I've got friends at work that have done the same they were uh, Sony players they've recently picked up Xbox One S's or they've pre or, you know, pre-ordered the Xbox One X um, it, it's the time of the Xbox it's the time uh, that Xbox uh, comes back to the force that it was and uh, more people are buying Xbox, more people are switching and more people are getting demoralized and pissed off with Sony and their constant um, cash grabs that they keep trying to do. Um, I mean we all know that the power difference between the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One was minimal. Um, Sony would uh, basically make sure that they got the higher resolu resolution even though it meant a slightly lower frame rate. They didn't care about the frame rates, all they cared about was the frame, uh, you know, the the resolution, so that they could turn around and say our our game runs at higher resolution to make out they've got more power. The power difference was minimal. Xbox One X, the power difference is massive, even compared to the Pro, um, and you can visibly see that difference when these games start hitting, and we could actually start seeing these uh, comparisons and these reviews, as we will do when the Xbox One X is launched. We don't see that so much at the moment. We're only seeing comparison videos on the demo here and there but when we start seeing these big games dropping and the comparisons on Digital Foundry to the Pro to the Xbox One X the Xbox One X is gonna win every time and people are gonna jump to the machine even on a 1080p TV you can see the difference there's a massive difference um, and, and, and there you go it's as simple as that the Xbox is on the turn uh, it's a force to be reckoned with you know you don't take on people like the Xbox team, Phil Spencer, you don't take people on like that Sony uh, and expect them to sit on their laurels and not doing anything. Anyway, that's all I've got for you today. Um, Xbox is moving forward with us as a community. It always has done and it will continue to do so and we are going strength to strength. Thanks for watching. Please check out all my other videos. Check out my last video. Uh, please like, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell as well to get notified on when new videos go up. And uh, we shall see you tomorrow night on the Micropod, uh, 8pm GMT with myself, the Shermanator, Dale Poy and uh, Andy Mack. Take care guys, speak to you soon.